Hello friends, Doug Fink, Microsoft MVP. I'm here to show you some more PowerShell and Generative AI. I'm experimenting with a couple of ideas and this one's all about how to create polyglot interactive notebooks from a prompt. We'll take a look at a few ideas and then we'll do a little bit of a deep dive in how this comes together. Let's go. file try polyglot notebook gen ai agent and i have three of them the first one up is going to be straightforward i think and simple um, let's start to run this and you can see it's uh generating the notebook for uh, json for the powershell kernel based on the prompt and the prompt is saying i need a polyglot interactive notebook i want to set a variable ps to the process on the to the processes on the box output date and time and how many processes are running and it finished and it created this file. So let's open up the Polyglot Notebook and it created two cells. Right? So I said I wanted a variable that's set to the processes running and I wanted to uh, output the date and time. So it inferred that I wanted two cells and there you have it. It sets up the .NET Interactive on top in terms of a kernel and it sets PowerShell as the proper kernel for each one of the cells. So I opened it and let's see if I can click run. And there are, that cell ran, set the processes to dollar $PS, so we'll run the next one. And you can see it gives me the date and the number of processes running are 450. Cool. So let's close that out. Let's open up um, another one. And this is basically the same as the one before, but now I'm asking, I want a markdown cell that uh, tells what the workbook's about to do. And then I want another markdown cell that says what is the, one, uh, the cell doing after I set the variable. Let's uh, see if we can open this. And now you can see I've actually created the cell up on top is markdown. If I double click it, we're good. Um, tells me that it documents what this is doing get the current uh, the process is currently running and then it tells you what it does at the end let's see if we can run this up so this should work the same as the other one but now not only do we have the cells but we've actually asked it to document what's going on that's pretty cool now let's go to number three before we get go to the deep dive of how this all works and there's number three let's run this up and then we'll talk about the prompt so that's generating. Uh, I want to, same as before, I want the uh, interactive notebook, I want a markdown cell, get the processes, and I want to output all the good stuff and make sure you document everything. The last piece, which is really cool, is I'm asking it that I need a cell that creates a mermaid diagram showing the flow of the notebook. So Polyglot interactive notebooks support a cell type of mermaid so that if you give it mermaid syntax and you run it, it'll actually generate a mermaid diagram. Let's see what we have. So here we go. We have a different kind of an introduction. Cool. That describes uh, cell number one. Cell number two gets described. Right. And then last but not least, we say the, the following cell provides a mermaid diagram illustrating the workflow of this notebook. And we go, we can run each one, gets the processes, shows the date and the count. And here's the cool one. We'll actually run this and we can see in a graph of what actually happened in the in the document. Now, the key thing is that I, this is all done through a prompt. I didn't tell it how to do it, where to do it, why to do it. Um, it figured out it wanted to do PowerShell, all that good stuff. Let's take a deeper look into why that worked. So here's kind of the meat of it all, and I'm still experimenting with it, but it's pretty reliable at this point. Um, again, I haven't really tried going full full on crazy and saying, you know, do 9,000 things and whatnot. But uh, anyway, let's take a look. So I set up a, a base instruction and you can think of this as a steering prompt or a system prompt. I'm telling it's an expert in Microsoft Polyglot Interactive Notebooks. Uh, please follow the instructions to complete the task. You know about .NET Interactive Notebooks, AKA Polyglot Interactive Notebooks. Please generate the JSON. Uh, for it, think about the task, and then I say, here's an example of a notebook. We'll get to that in a second, and I drop in some a variable. We'll take a look at that. 
And at the end I say, I don't want any explanations, just a JSON, no breakdown, no fence blocks. So that is so that what comes out of the uh, process is pure JSON, and then I can save it and whatnot. So I do a little housekeeping. Um, I write to the host that we're doing the generation, you saw that. And then here I have a thing called new agent, which is uh, something that I'm, I've built on top of the PowerShell AI module I have, the PSAI that you can install. Um, it's up on the gallery. So I do new agent, I give it those instructions. I say get agent response from the prompt that we passed in from this prompt gets passed in. Uh, and so we take the instructions to create the agent, then we tell the agent what we want to have done, and when everything is, is complete, I create the file. And, and that's what we do. Now let's take a look. This is the cool part amongst the other cool parts. What I did was I created a polyglot notebook and I added a couple of cells all in PowerShell. And since uh, when you do that and you save it, it saves it in JSON. So I just opened up, I cracked open that IPYMB file, copied out the JSON, and I made it part of the steering prompt. And that's what helps uh, give the, uh, the model better ideas of how to get this thing done. So, that's it. So go grab yourself the uh, install module PSAI. Um, and I'll have more to come. This is an exciting time in terms of development and what you can do with these things, despite the hype, both positive and negative. Later.